hello everyone welcome back into this tutorial and welcome back into this video so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can check plagiarism by using free online tools you may be having a document you created and you want to be checking uh, plagiarism or you want to be checking whether there are materials which are from other sources or in the way which is not properly and uh, you want to be presenting to someone or be submitting to somewhere and you want to check it plagiarism before you submit that uh, documents and you don't have the money to pay for premium sources and even also you want to manage also your money so that you can not be paying for premium sources here you can use this uh, free online tool to check plagiarism in your documents or in your content so if you did not subscribe to the channel no max tv subscribe today like this video uh, share this with your friends and turn notification bell button so as you always get notified when we upload a new video here at no max tv without wasting time let's get started so what i gonna do now if you see here i have a document uh, and the document i'm having here is the one you can see uh, I have the document which is containing some information. This data, so the data of the information from the mind is always necessary to contribute to the development. So, you see now these are the information I want to be using, and I want to be uh, also checking whether there is uh, any plagiarism in this information so that we can compare later. So what I have to do now, I have to open my Google Chrome in my computer. I may be opening Google Chrome by using also. Uh, maybe any other browser in your computer or Chrome so I'm going to use Chrome but I open it and then after opening it I'll type plagiarism checker and is the one I want to be using so now you have to type what one you want and if you type plagiarism checker you get also various options here you can get plagiarism checker, debris checker you can get various uh, also sources that are going to be helping you to check plagiarism in your uh, information so what I'm gonna do here is now uh, I check plagiarism in this uh, information and I uh, what I do is you can see I choose this one if I choose this one uh, it's a free and uh, and you can be using for free you have a grammar you have any other one let's use for this one and you compare to the other one and you see you have the option for text you can put text here then I'll uh, check plagiarism we have also other option where you can upload the file if you have uh, a long file you can be uploading it here so what you need to do let me come here and copy this text i have created and paste it in this area to check this plagiarism now after pasting it here you can see uh, i have uh, 71 words over 1000 so this one support 1000 uh, watts and uh, what I need to do uh, I need to check plagiarism here so I click here and check plagiarism so I click here then I wait for it to check give me a result and it's going to take uh, now a few seconds to have also check the plagiarism in my content then I say I may see the result from my text and I can also be able to see if there is plagiarism or not. So, now we can wait a few seconds to have finished it so we can detect or we can see if there is any kind of plagiarism in your text or our information are unique. So, as you can see, I have 100% of my project, also my content is a full so it's a unique and you see there is no plagiarized content so now let's for example copy any information from google and paste it on our content and see if it's going to be retrieving the information you have written in our uh, text so in our article so i can also copy this you see this is a business management and uh, if i try to copy this and we put this uh, part there so let's see if you want to be retrieving this information so let me put here for example then i i copy it and pass it at the same you see now how many words i'm going to have and i copy it again i go i go back to this plagiarism checker and so i cancel this then i go back to text area and i paste this text uh, yes 
I replace this one. So after replacing this one, you see I have uh, 112 words. What I need to follow, I click here on check plagiarism. Then I wait a moment. So you see it is detecting. Then I can wait a few seconds to see if it's going to be checking uh, plagiarism and giving me the result that I can be also using or considering while or removing this uh, plagiarism content in my article. So let's wait few seconds and you get the result. So you can see now uh, after it has processed the uh, also the checking, you can see it is going to be bringing back the information you have copied and pasted there. You see it is here highlighted as the one which was plagiarized and you can see we are having 33 of percentage of plagiarism and the unique one of also uh, 67 percent so this is how you can be checking plagiarism on your line by using free tools for example i can use another online uh, tool which is not also that one let me type again plagiarism checker and put the information there so for example let's use uh, this degree checker and see if you're going to be bringing us the same result so that you can be comparing the result and see whether your, your content is full of plagiarism or not. So now what I do, I can co uh, co copy and paste my text here again as I used to do there. So after this, I have to check whether I'm a robot uh, because he had this option to check. So checking is easier and you check is by score. You check everything here and you check it like this. Then you click next. So you check traffic rights. So it's a checking as usual. And they also after this, you verify your information. Then you click check. So if I want to check, now we have to wait again as usual. Then we see that we can get the same result. You see it is processing. And we can wait a few seconds to have processed. Then we see the result if the same or not. After comparing the two results, you can be able to see or know if our information are really unique or not. So, as you see now, it is uh, scanning plagiarism up to 100%. And as you see, the result I want to be getting here is going to be of uh, 50% of the plagiarism and the other unique, which is also 50%. So, which means that uh, you have to be carefree uh, while copying the information. This is because the amount of the information you have is uh short con is short uh comparing to how we are going to check plagiarism you see in one part we are going we are having like a three sentences you are going to see this one you copied is one one two three the, the one two three four one two three four you see that the amount are the same like words are the same words are, you see which means half is plagiarized of half information is plagiarized now there's the reason why it is showing here 50 percent and here it is showing also 50 percent is unique and 50 percent is plagiarized so what you need to check or you need to make sure that the information you are using is plagiarized or not and these tools can help you to see which content is plagiarized you see it is 50 percent and 50 percent as you see here it highlighted the information which is plagiarized what is going to be helping you is to know the information which is plagiarized so that you can be adjusting them and start also continue making or working with your own activities without any other complications or without any other uh, information from other sources if you see you feel that you have uh, using another sources you can cite the information so that you can be credit uh, credibly uh, also acknowledging the author of the information thank you for watching this video like it is this subscribe to the channel and turn the bell button so as you always get notified when you upload a new video here at no max tv